Hello and welcome to this video where I look at making explainer videos using Video Creator. Now in Video Creator you can see down the side we've got loads of templates that you can use to make videos and I've done a review of it and I'm really happy with Video Creator. I think it's a really good piece of software. So I was really keen to see how these explainer videos worked and what you can do with them etc. And I've got the upgrade for Dulux which gives me access to these templates. So I'm going to look at this one whiteboard meet Mary color and I'm going to select it. So I'm just waiting for it to load. So for whatever reason, it's a bit slow to load the video. I'm going to click use the template. Now when the template loads, you've got all the scenes and you can see there's there's quite a lot of scenes. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got 11 scenes here. And when you go to images, you've got well, six images and a logo that you can upload. But when you go to text, there's 37 text boxes. So I've come up with a little tip for this. I do not think it is worth your time putting these images in and filling out these text boxes because probably what will happen is when you make it, you spend all this time filling all these things in, you can't see how things pan out. You can't see how long each section's for, how it links to the others, how it fills with the music. So what I would recommend you do is you just put something in to these boxes, a number, a letter, something. Because if I go to next and or if I go to if I go to proceed, I'll get this error message up here which says I need to add all the stuff. So you need to add things to these text boxes and you need to add images. I've already done that and I've loaded the video and I've made it and you can see that here. Now this video lasts for a minute, so I'm only gonna show part of this video. I'm not gonna show all of it. But the idea is that you can put things in and you can get an idea of what's in the video and what's required and how to get the best out of it rather than laboring over it to find that you don't like something or the text is cut off or your text is too long to fit in properly. So the images go in this bit here. So you just get six images pop up and they pop up quite small. Everything else really is text. So. I do think that this is a good explainer video. It looks very professional. You're a little limited in what you can do with it because it's obviously pre-built and the only thing you can change is the text, but it is good. So I'm suggesting you use my tip to save yourself a lot of time and hassle. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with it? Or would you rather just fill it all out and see what happens? Anyway, let me know how you get on with making the explainer videos in this software. Thank you. Goodbye.